Good morning, friends, and welcome back to see another show. And we're going to start with our kindergarten readiness goals that we always learn about for the beginning of the show. So today we're going to learn an uppercase letter, and guess what? It's going to be a new letter, a letter that we've not learned before. We're going to learn what it looks like as a big uppercase letter and a little lowercase letter. Next, we're going to work on our fine motor skills. That means you're going to draw me a picture of something that you're going to learn about today. Using those fingers and building those fine motor skills. And then you're going to learn to follow simple directions. So I hope that you like listening because Miss Bacon loves when her friends makes good choices and turns their ears on to listen. All right, so let's talk about the materials you'll need today. So you're gonna need a piece of paper, and Ms. Bacon already has her piece of paper hanging on the board. And then the next thing you're gonna need is something you can write or color with. So I have my bucket of markers, and you will need something that you can write or color with too. All right, so I'll give you just a few seconds to go and get your materials and we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna get started. If you're still looking for your materials, you can pause the video. But if you're ready to roll, guess what? Miss Bacon is too. So here is our new letter for today. And I wanna know if you know what letter you're looking at. Great job. So this right here is the letter R. This right here is the letter R. And some of my friends knew this letter and some of my friends did not. And that's okay. If you did not know this letter, can you say R? Wow, I knew you could do that. So let's go ahead and put our letter R on our board. That right there is the uppercase letter R. It's the big letter R. So now let's take a look at the lowercase letter R, which is the little letter R. And it looks like this. Remember, the little letter R always, or most of the time, looks different from the big letter. So now that we have both, our big letter R and our little letter R, you know what time it is. It's time to practice writing those letters. Because remember, when you go to kindergarten, this is what you will be learning. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. When you make, and we're gonna start with the uppercase, when you make the uppercase letter R, the first thing you're gonna do is, you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna make a straight line down. So can you do that? Then you're gonna start at the top again and you're gonna go around. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start right there in the middle and you're gonna make a slant down to the right. And that is how you make an uppercase letter R, okay? Uppercase letter R. All right, so we're gonna do it again. Start at the top and make a straight line down. And then you're gonna go around. Start in the middle and make a slant to the right. And that is how you make an uppercase letter R. Alrighty, one more time. Start at the top and make a straight line down. Start at the top again and go around. Then the last thing we're gonna do is start in the middle and make a slant to the right. 
All right, great job, friends. So we have made our uppercase letter R three times. One, two, three. So now Miss Bacon's gonna erase that uppercase letter R and I'm gonna work on the lowercase letter R. So when you make the lowercase letter R, you do two things. You're gonna start at the top and make a line down. And then you're gonna go over, you're gonna go and give it a little curve. That's how you make the letter R. So we're gonna do it again. Make a straight line down. And then give it a little curve. And you know we do it three times, so one more time, make a straight line down. And then give it a little curve. So that is how you make the lowercase letter R. And you're doing such a great job. So now we're going to move on to what's next. And you know what time it is, because this is my favorite part of the show. We're gonna look at pictures of things that start with the letter R. And my letter R pictures are one of my favorites. They're some of my, my favorite pictures. So first, I'm gonna show you what my letter R looks like again. This is my uppercase letter R. And my lowercase letter R. And here's my first picture. Do you know what this is? This is something that goes into outer space. It's a rocket. Great job. This is a picture of a rocket. So if you did not know, can you say rocket? Ooh, so these rockets are neat. I love rockets. This starts with the letter R too. Do you know what this is a picture of? It's a flower, but it's a certain flower. And it actually has a really cool name. I'm trying to hold it up to the screen so you will know what it is. Great job. It's called a rose. So a rose is a certain type of flower that starts with the letter R. Here's my next picture. I bet you know what this is. Great job. It's a rabbit. Sometimes you will see rabbits outside, maybe at the park. Some of you may even see rabbits at your house. Rabbits start with the letter R. Ooh, this is a pretty cool shape. This shape has two long sides and two short sides. Do you know what this shape is called? Great job. This shape is called rectangle. Rectangle starts with the letter R. Can you say rectangle? Ooh, I love it. All right, and this is our last picture. This is something you may see outside after it rains. It has numerous colors. And sometimes when you make a picture of this, you can use whatever colors you want, but they're always bright and pretty. It's called a what? A rainbow, that's right. So our last picture is a rainbow and rainbow starts with the letter R. All right, so now that we've done our pictures, you guys know what time it is. It's time to draw. So, so far we've talked about the uppercase letter R and the lowercase letter R. We talked about a rocket, cause it starts with R. A rose, cause it starts with R. A rabbit, that starts with R. A rectangle, that starts with R. And a rainbow. 
all of those pictures start with the letter R. So now it's your turn to draw your favorite picture. And guess what? Miss Bacon's going to draw her favorite picture too. So out of all of those pictures, my favorite is the rectangle because I love teaching about shapes. So as I told you all, I'm going to draw the rectangle. You can draw whichever picture you like. You don't have to draw the rectangle. But a rectangle has two long sides. So I'm going to do one long side, side at the bottom. And I'm going to do another long side at the top. And then it has two short sides. So here's my short side, one short side and two short sides, okay? And this is actually called a rectangle, okay? So um, when we think and talk about rectangles, Miss Bacon loves teaching shapes. So you can tune in to my shape one. I have a shape video and I teach about all the shapes. So you need to make sure that you find and tune in to my rectangle video so you will learn all about rectangles. So right now I'm going to write the name rectangle because that's what I drew for my picture today. All right. Okay friends. So I'm super excited about what you drew for our show today, and I can't wait to see it. I hope you enjoyed our show, but guess what? Ooh, it's the end. You can always tune in tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and share the videos so your other friends can learn about letters too. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.